Before Elon Musk bought Twitter in 2022, blue check marks that appeared on people's profiles signified that they were a verified account. Twitter started implementing its blue check marks verification system in 2009 to prevent the impersonation of high profile accounts such as those of celebrities, politicians, journalists and many other actors of great public influence. Blue check marks were launched to not only prevent impersonation but also to prevent the spread of disinformation. One of the many user experience changes that have come with Elon Musk's ownership of Twitter has been the overhauling of the blue checkmark verification system. Contrary to Twitter's old verification system, the social media app's current verification system is not based on previous criteria used to offer profiles blue checkmarks. As the app currently stands, you don't have to have a public influence to have a blue checkmark. Anyone can have a blue checkmark, you just have to pay for it. But before we go on and talk about this change, I would encourage you to subscribe as I post interesting content daily that you don't want to miss. Let's go. What was the logic behind this change? Musk has cited changing Twitter's verification system from what it was to a so-called pay-to-play model in order to increase Twitter's revenue. With this new verification system, anyone who pays between $8 to $11 a month gets a Twitter Blue subscription where they are given the previously highly converted blue checkmark. Twitter Blue subscription also comes with add-ons such as access to subscriber-only features and in-app customization such as edit tweet, app appearance and display option, 60-minute video uploads and being able to rank which conversations should be given priority in subscribers' feed. And let us look more into what getting Twitter Blue entails, along with its implications for impersonation and disinformation concerns that Twitter verification system was founded on. Before Twitter Blue, the criteria used to give out blue check marks on Twitter needed accounts to be active, to have a complete profile and most importantly to be the ones that has great public interest. However, with subscription payments now, the criteria used to award blue checks after one pays for the service includes phone number confirmation and that the account must have been in existence for more than 90 days. Those who had blue check marks before Twitter's overhaul and those who subscribe to Twitter Blue right now have the same blue check marks. They are not differentiated. When Musk had just bought Twitter, there were speculations that the old blue check marks would be rescinded, but that has not happened so far. As mentioned earlier, Twitter Blue subscribers get to have in app customization that regular Twitter users do not have. However, subscribers also report frustration with the app. The biggest frustration that are reported by Twitter Blue users included how long updating their profile take because of Twitter Blue verification process and the fact that cancelling subscription does not remove the blue check marks from people's profiles, it only removes access to in-app customizations. Twitter Blue users report being frustrated by not being able to as easily and as quickly change their display names and profile pictures of the subscription app. Changing these things requires days long reviews when sometimes they need to change one's profile details are urgent, for example when in support of a cause. Twitter Blue users also express frustration at not being able to get rid of the blue check marks when they unsubscribe to the paid platform. Having a subscribe blue check mark has been negatively affecting some people's online presence because they are perceived to have to pay for people to engage with what they post. This frustration has been especially expressed by people who only subscribe to Twitter Blue on a light note but then end up stuck with the consequences of having a paid for blue check mark or deciding to delete their accounts and start over altogether, losing the social media presence they had before. What are some of the implications for impersonation and disformation concerns then? One of the biggest concerns around Twitter Blue is how it will impact the spread of politically consequential disinformation. When Twitter Blue was being launched in 2022, it was coming in just ahead of the US midterm election. Many raised fears about how basing verification upon payment rather than actual public standing could see many people subscribing to the app to impersonate public officials and politicians. By co-opting their names and with blue check marks alongside them, impersonators could affect the spread of political information both for news outlets and constituents. Another concern around Twitter Blue is how it has made Twitter as a platform a less credible source of news and information, whereas Twitter used to be used as a reliable source of information from verified accounts and journalists before with a previous user base of around 238 million users daily, it is less of a source of reliable information with the new verification system. Musk's takeover and overhaul of Twitter has seen the platform undergo not only technical changes but also the user base changes. Gradual changes that come with the platform's new frameworks will determine whether people adapt to the app or find other substitutes altogether. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.